Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today I have an Orion 2500D here uh, that has been, this is this was a full rebuild. I rebuilt this from almost, it was destroyed, it was used as parts. Uh, so I rebuilt this board. Got all the output terminals, the power terminals, got the relay put back in. I got all of the uh, connection side of the board put back together. And I have been working on these 2500Ds for quite a while uh, between, between various issues. So I'm gonna point out if a couple things here. There's, there's two traces that uh, that are I have cut open here and these two traces actually tie the two auxiliary power supplies together so though that trace that ties these two together is open um, uh, the output cards are functional um, I was for the longest time having a problem uh, not only with this board but with another 2500D that I was working on where you would find one bank of your 31 and 20s would heat up you'd have your drive signals you'd have your input signal you'd have it at the output terminal but you'd have one bank of 31 and 20 D's that would heat up well after a lot of poking around thinking that it was a drive issue an input signal issue uh, thinking that the issue was something other than the transistor when in fact it's the transistor and I'm going to show you what I have found uh, between different I don't know how I would call this different sellers or different manufacturers of the 31 and 20 D's but if you have a bank that's heating up just the 31 and 20 D's one or the other for no apparent reason I would look into your transistors so I'm going to show you these are both labeled FB 31 and 20 D's and they are from uh, sellers that have never failed me and overseas sellers uh, she has always treated me good their products are have never failed me never had problems but there's a small manufacturing difference in these 31 and 20 D's and I'm going to show you what to look for using my good old trusty MK 328 tester so this is a 31 and 20 D again they're both labeled the same and I'm going to show you the test results that come up on these so you can see here this is an n-channel MOSFET um, capacitance of 3.9 uh, nanofarads a 3.1 volt uh, there on your uh, gate threshold so keep that in mind remember that picture there that if you put this transistor in this bank in any one of these three banks that transistor will heat up it'll get hot hot and fail now I'm going to show you a different 31 and 20 D ah this one is reading between two and three as a diode what does this tell you tells you the gate voltage threshold is different between this transistor and this transistor this transistor will work absolutely fine with this drive this transistor that comes up as a standard end channel will not work with this drive 
So when working with these 2500Ds with the uh, this particular drive card, you got to make sure you're using 31N20Ds that come up and it'll come up the same on any of my testers. Um, most of these are testing at 5 volts um, on the gates. They will come up as a diode between 2 and 3. So with that in mind, I had found a seller that has the 31 and 20 Ds that show as a diode between two and three. And this seller shows as an end channel, just a standard end channel MOSFET. They're still able to 31 and 20 Ds. They still work in circuits I should say in specific circuits, uh, they just don't work in this particular Orion 2500D uh, drive. I do believe it has something to do with your with the gate voltage. I haven't gone real deep into the specific of the gate voltages here, which I can show you on the scope. Let's just, uh, let's fire this board up here real quick. So I can show you there, you got this picture on the scope. Uh, you can see that it looks to be about a 12 volt, about a 12 volt drive, um, peak to peak there on the scope. So it seems to be using, let me just shoot a picture of that real quick. It seems to be using a pretty high gate voltage. So yeah, it looks like it's about a 12 volt gate drive, which uh, which makes sense why uh, the 31 and 20 Ds that require that little bit of higher gate voltage shows up as a diode between two and three. So that's my lesson today on the Orion 2500D board and the issues with the 31 and 20 D transistors. So again, if they're heating up find those transistors that shows a diode between two and three so i do thank you for watching if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe uh, leave your comments down below i uh, try to release videos as much as possible i do apologize there is some construction going on so my videos are getting a little little thin in between but i will get them as uh, out as much as possible between construction days so again thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'll catch you on the next one